Tomorrow we are taking care of one of our biggest bucket list items here. We are going to go deep sea fishing, deep sea fishing on, a on a boat. Can't believe it. So excited. So today we have to get all of our chores done. We have to get prepped and ready for like food wise, snacks wise. We even had to exchange a pole that somebody broke. That was Boston. Oh, was yeah, Boston. 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 It's not one of you two. That's good. Yeah. function the other day making pizzas for the youth where we met Jason and his family. We really hit it off talking about YouTube because he actually has his own channel about life in the Florida Keys. I will link his channel in the description so you guys can check it out. You may even see a video already up with us in it so go over watch it and maybe leave him a little comment telling him we sent you. This is what I put through my finger on my <gasps> walkway. So. No! That whole huge thing? Yeah, this hook came right through the scar steel healing oh right through the base of my oh. finger. As I took a six footer right off the side and I wasn't watching. Oh. And I fell down. It's in my Wahoo video. Yeah, I got the whole thing. I had the, I had the GoPro going. I was completely fell over feet in the air. And lure went through the finger. Oh my gosh. It was awesome. <laughs> Cody has his eyes on this trolling pole. Cash has his eyes on the electric one. I think that's cheating though. And then James has his eyes on this pole. And I've got, you've got your eye on that one? Okay, you and me, we'll both keep our eyes on this guy right here. I love seeing that. That way that, that thing goes out to sea, it catches. I'm sure that was learned the hard way. Now that he has his fishing lines out, I'm realizing that we have never been this out far out in the ocean, except for in like a cruise ship. Cause I, I was watching these waves and they're big and we're close. And it just got me feeling like, oh, I have never been out in the ocean like this. We're hearing some ticks. I don't know what that means. miles into the ocean where it was 200 feet deep to troll for wahoo and mahi mahi that was a bust i'm not gonna lie though i was just happy to be there having a blast lincoln and james got a little seasick and cody he was just dying to catch something We then went 12 miles out where it was 500 feet deep and drifted for tuna. Another bust, however, when we spoke to the other boats around us, every single one of them were also skunked, so we knew it wasn't just us. You just hold on and keep watching because we got some magic coming. Ooh, good girl. Got a fish on here. What's your name, buddy? Cody. Cody. You're the sick one, aren't you? No. no that's Just same color shirt. Man, just awoke from his puking nap and caught a Oh my gosh, Cody. Oh. Yeah, the one that was puking said, I'm really sad. Bring a reel, then you reel, reel on the way down. You pull it up, reel on the way down. Yep, there you go. Good job. Oh, you're probably okay. Ooh, that's yeah. big. That might be a keeper. Yeah. That'll be 18. Dinner, baby. Let's figure it out. Take okay, the measurements right here. Let's make sure it's 18. 
but just hold it down just real low right there. Look it down a little bit. Okay, right there. You can pinch the tail. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Barely good. makes yeah. 18. Are they good eating? Yeah, oh, yeah, they're the best eating. There you go. Hold that pig up there, buddy. Oh, my God. Grab him by the gills. I think Lincoln's feeling <laughs> I think Lincoln's feeling better. <laughs> he wants a fish. Four pukes later and you're feeling much better, huh? Our designator, yeah, designated unhooker. Like... Loop <laughs> them right in there and hold them tight to your body so he can't wiggle. And then there you go, unhook them that way. Excellent. See how that little blip on the map looks like a ship? It's because it is a ship. That is the Adolphus Bush, and it was sank in the 90s to create artificial reef. Um, that's a cool way that they recycle ships. They retire them, put them out in the ocean, and now they become. Um, artificial reef because reef is obviously dying so they help it to regenerate it and they make excellent fishing holes. I know that's a little mangrove snapper. Bar jack right here. Whoa! Whoa. Color's pretty. Another, another bar jack. Oh, the color of them are so beautiful. 
beautiful. So what's the story about the signs? What are they? Like people, oh. We needed, we need an app, Bonnie Helene. <laughs> Logan, Utah. Five guys in a dinghy. <laughs> Man, really? Look. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Apparently, this is an old abandoned ship. Was it a ship? Barge. House barge. House barge. Gonna go up? <laughs> Have you guys been on here before? I mean, it's cool. Just a little wild. See, that's his leg. That's mm -hmm. the leg of the conk. He keeps retracting it in there. Mm -hmm. So Dang. pretty. Oh, geez. I thought I was going to film this cute, like, clip of me getting on the floor. Would you get over here and help me in? I felt cute, might do it later. <laughs> We just want to say thank you again to Jason for taking us out on his boat. That was so generous of him to share his time, his talent, and his boat with us. My kids did not stop talking about this for days, and even though most of us did not get seasick on the actual boat, we all went to bed, I think, for a few days feeling like we were floating out in the ocean waves, but that's okay because it was just a reminder of what an awesome day we had. The canal was so beautiful bringing the boat in. We had one last task to do before our day ended though. Jason showed us how to fillet our fish. He did it like a real pro, like nothing. I believe he filmed filleting the fish, so you may see that video pop up over on Florida Keys Life channel. Again, I will have that linked in the description for you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end and you enjoyed this video, please give the video a big thumbs up. Bye guys.